Is JavaScript worth learning in 2024? You reached the right video, let me explain. This video was brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure salary you desire. Our 30 day project course includes our JavaScript front end projects, our Python back end projects, our SQL database projects, and much, much more. So go ahead and click the link below to our free seven step guide so that you can start reaching your programming goals today. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, the quick answer to your question is yes, but I want to go over the details and uh, later on in the video on why it's the right, uh, right thing to do. But uh, at a very high level, a lot of you guys are struggling with JavaScript. You can't get a job. You It's hard for you to learn. You just don't have a plan of attack to really get a grasp of it and leverage it in ways that you want to do. And again, guys, if you're doing this for a hobby or you're not looking to take your career to the next level with JavaScript or anything like that, this don't really apply to you. You keep doing your thing. You keep um, enjoying doing it as a hobby. But if you wanted to make some money as a, a JavaScript developer and really become that developer you want to become and make that amount of money, I got a couple of things I wanted to kind of go over with you guys in detail and um, we can get started with that. But before we get started, guys, tell me about your unique situation so that we can start a conversation below in the comment section. I want to know why you're struggling with JavaScript. If it is it because you don't have a plan, it's hard for you to learn it, or maybe the interview process has been a mess for you. Just go ahead and put all of that down in the comment section so that we can um, start a conversation. I really want to help you guys um, learn more about your unique situation so that I can give you specific um, details on how to get to that next level for you and this applies for aspiring JavaScript developers even if you're an existing JavaScript developer who's actually in a, a tough position and you can't get any um, um, headway in your career go ahead and comment below and um, so that we can get started guys so I made a couple of points here I want to make sure I cover these pretty good I'm gonna give you the pros and cons we'll kind of go over them at a high level <clears throat> so that we can get started guys so at the end of the day let's go with cons at the end of the day guys javascript compared to most programming languages is easier to learn and it's relatively fast to learn and the competition uh, is very popular so that you can um, find resources on this a lot of you guys going to really grasp JavaScript pretty good because compared to other programming languages, JavaScript is very visual. You can actually see what you're doing on the screen in some cases, or at least at the very minimum, you can see the end and end to where, hey, I see all the visual elements. How can I dynamically change them and all that? The problem with you guys get into is you guys start to really just just kind of keep that very high level hey ui design which is good which is important don't take that the wrong way ui is important and you're gonna always need to make sure your ui is actually optimized for the end user but at a certain point you're gonna have to provide more value to that end user than just cosmetic related stuff that's what you guys are struggling with you got training projects that you're doing and it's just basic surface level stuff and when you take that to a uh if you take that to a a hiring manager or one of your um your boss and like hey i learned javascript i'm ready for another job they're looking at you as hey that's great you know but it don't move the needle for a company like us so it's going to be up to you to really kind of figure out how you can present your JavaScript skills in a way that people's gonna take you serious and actually give you an opportunity to really start making money, providing value, and everything's going great. And again, guys, don't get me, don't, don't get it confused. UI is design is important. You always wanna make sure you do that, but at a certain point, you have to go beyond that, even in JavaScript, even in front-end development to really get that, um, uh, get to that next level and get beyond the competition because unfortunately guys the competition is fierce it is very fierce 
out of all the three sections of programming, front end versus back end versus database, front end, everybody want to be a front end developer, UI developer, because it's the nice, sexy stuff. It's the stuff that you get the most benefit out of from a visual perspective and also feedback from a user. The other two is more in the background. You don't necessarily see it on performance level and, and more than likely it's probably a situation where they already complain about it and you're helping them out. So it's not this whole new design, new sexy look Look, there's something that you can put a portfolio that being said you already know when something is more appealing you're gonna have more competition just really iterating my point before is you got to make sure you have the level of projects that's gonna get you beyond that surface level of uh, <laughs> beginner JavaScript developers so that you can help take your career to the next level guys so and, and again I'm, I'm, I'm not, I, I know you guys are tired of me keep iterating this. UI design is, 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 is very important. You got a lot of channels dedicated to UI design, but in the real world, you're gonna find out pretty quickly that a lot of the back end stuff is really what's gonna move the needle over time more consistently. And um, I'm gonna give you guys some projects that you can prime present so that you can um, at least get ahead of the competition. I can't go over all the projects in this video. Um, like you saw earlier, I got links below into my uh, for my seven step guide. Go ahead and click that. We got details about more projects that you guys can start to use in JavaScript and put yourself in a position to win there too. And if you already tried my seven my free seven step guide, go ahead and buy my premium courses below, guys. You got some really good deals. Um, price is gonna be okay for a little while before they go up. So go ahead and take advantage of it so that uh, we can give you the projects you need to kind of get started and put yourself in a position to win, guys. So before I wrap this video up. I want to make sure you guys do this. It starts and ends with projects. What do projects do for you? If an employer is looking at the projects that you've done without even talking to you, the way you phrase it and, and present those projects is going to tell everything they need to know mostly about what you can provide for them. It's not going to be able to tell the intangible stuff, the communication skills, leadership, all that stuff, but just the way that you approach presenting it, the details you give is going to let them know, hey, this person is coming in. They're just not the basic, yeah, Brewman uh, software developer or JavaScript developer. They are really looking at ways to help solve my problems beyond just the graphical stuff. And um, that's what's going to help you guys um, get to that next level. I can't, I can't, I can't stress enough how many developers I've been in a hiring um, situation with where they come in, they showing all their hello world and all this nice graphical looking good UI stuff, which again, you know, at the beginning we need that, present that great. But the minute you ask them anything beyond that, it falls flat and they're expecting to have a consistent job that and again guys you got technology companies who are who specialize in front-end development and consulting companies those are only a few of the large majority of jobs out there to become a software developer and i don't want you guys to get tied up into just that one group of companies again we talk about that in seven step, step guys as well guys you're gonna have your technology companies, consulting companies, and you're gonna have just general businesses. Most of you guys are gonna have success, more success working for a general business as a software developer than the other two, only because of just the competition alone. <laughs> and um, it's gonna help you guys get started there. So at the end of the day, guys, like, subscribe to the content. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out the link to uh, the resources in the description box. I'll put a link on my seven step guide here on the screen. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.